Hey everyone, this is Yan from Devolutions with another Remote Desktop Manager Pro Tip. In today's tip, we're going to be taking a look at the temporary access feature, which is available in Remote Desktop Manager as well as Password Hub Business. Now, what this feature does is it allows you to elevate somebody's permission to execute status if they currently just have view status. So they have to be able to actually see the entry first, but they may not be able to actually run the entry. So for today's example, we're going to have Bob, the administrator. He's going to be sporting the nice dark mode as well as Kelly, our service desk technician, and she's gonna be using the classic light mode here. So if I maximize the screen here, Kelly is trying to access this RDP server here, Telemark DC1, and right now you can see in her permissions, she only has view access or view attachments. So she can't really actually normally run the session, but if she clicks on this open session here, You'll notice that it says you don't have the rights to perform this action. Would you like to send a request to get temporary access? Well, 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 that's exactly what we want. So she clicks on yes. She selects how long she wants it for. So uh, maybe she'll say a day. She's going to request it from Bob, which is one of the administrators. And she's going to use the classic message, need to update the server. So she's going to send the request here. So if I log into Bob's account here, and uh, you'll notice here he's in the dashboard, he'll see here that there's a pending access request here. So if he clicks on here, it opens up the temporary access request window, and then it'll say that Kelly is uh, accessing to use a Telemark server, and she wants to be able to execute it, and then he can either approve or deny. So he's going to click approve, and then on this request here, he can also change the duration if he thinks it's too much or too little. And he'll say, sounds great. Thanks for filling in for Phil. Okay, so let's uh, send the response here. And now the request has been approved. So if we go back to uh, Kelly's, now you'll see here that notice her permissions have changed to view sensitive information and execute as well, which is exactly what she wants. So now she click open session. And voila, it's that easy. So you can see how the temporary access could be very useful in specific situations when you need to elevate permissions just for a little while. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you the same thing, but with using Password Hub Business, which gives you some really cool functionalities. Plus we'll see how this can be used with the web-based dashboard. So you may want to check out that video, which shows up in our next pro tip as well. And make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, and have a great day.